Now for a look at our Sunrise Smart Start. Police continue to investigate after a police officer hit and killed a pedestrian Saturday night. Officers say the detective was driving eastbound on 104 when this happened. The woman was pronounced dead by the time first responders arrived on the scene. He has been placed on paid administrative leave while the investigation continues. The Texas man accused of pulling the trigger in a double homicide in SOTUS will appear in court today. Timothy Dean is accused of killing Josh Niles and Amber Washburn back in October. He pleaded not guilty last month. Deputies say the motive was a child custody dispute between Niles and Dean's wife, Charlene Childers. Former Rochester City Court Judge Leticia Astacio also expected to appear in front of a judge today for a felony gun charge. Astacio was accused of trying to illegally buy a gun from two Dick's Sporting Goods stores back in April. She is banned from owning a gun because she's on probation for her DWI conviction. Well, the post office is getting customers ready for the holidays, offering extended hours. The main post office on Jefferson Road will be open the next two Sundays from 10 to 3 and the next two Saturdays until 4 in the afternoon. The Webster Post Office on Barrett, uh, Barrett Drive rather, will be open Saturday, December 15th until 3 p.m. The deadline to mail packages and cards, December 22nd for Priority Express shipping. Well, if you're planning a trip, News 8 once again putting you first. We will have experts here to help you find the hot destinations that you can afford. That's vacation advice tonight from 5 to 6.30 right here on News 8. Josh, the forecast might have some thinking about a vacation on this Monday morning. It's uh, pretty cloudy out there right now, safe to say. And do watch out for a little bit of black ice in some spots. Uh, we had a little bit of clearing before the cloud deck that you see there uh, moved in. And so as a result, there will be a, a few slick spots underfoot heading out the door. As far as the temperatures are concerned, they're just below freezing. Feels like it's in the low 20s, even with just a whisper of a westerly breeze right now. Now, the good news is that we've got some quiet weather to talk about. Uh, the not so great news is that beautiful sunshine that we had yesterday afternoon. It's not going to be in play here for today. We do have a few breaks in the overcast there over parts of eastern uh, Lake Ontario. So we might see a splash or two of sun before the day is out. We broaden the perspective here to show you that much of the Northeast is quiet this morning. So if you have travel plans uh, to Boston, New York, Washington, D.C., Cleveland, uh, basically anywhere in the Northeast right now, uh, we are good to go here on this Monday morning. So here's your planner here as we work our way through the day today. It's an overcast story. Again, there might be a break or two here and there of sunshine. Temperatures typically this time of year are right around 40 for a high, uh, but uh, today they're probably not much past the low 30s. So keep that in mind as you make plans hmm. uh, to head out and about. And in the eight day, there are some 40s in that forecast, which is good to see. Yeah, so, you know, we actually do have uh, an opportunity to see maybe a little bit of thawing uh, in some parts of our area before the week is out. And we were talking about it earlier, the sunshine makes all the difference, all doesn't the it? Difference. Big difference. Even with temperatures in the 20s yesterday, it just felt like a much nicer day. Mm -hmm. And not much in the way of a breeze either made it, made it nice. Get a true. dose of yeah. vitamin D and it lifts your spirits. Yeah. We'll take it on a Monday. Good way to go into a Monday. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. And thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update is coming up in 25 minutes.